I'm here with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you are not new, well then, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my weekly deep conditioning routine. I normally do this routine every Sunday or every Monday because those are the days that I'm usually just relaxing at home. So yeah, if you like my results, definitely continue watching. I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my products and how I get little to no frizz. What's up guys? As you can see, my hair is in this really ugly looking bun. So I'm just gonna take it out. And as you see, my hair is super, super, super dry. So the first step here is going to be just rinsing my hair out with warm water. I don't want it to be too cold and I don't want it to be too hot either. And then once I'm done rinsing out my hair, I'm going to go in with my favorite shampoo by the Manuka Honey and Yogurt line by Shea Moisture. And this shampoo honestly just really helps hydrate my hair. Then I make sure I just massage the product all throughout my scalp, um, avoiding my ends. This way I avoid any dehydration. And once I'm done applying my shampoo, I'm just going to rinse my hair out with warm water. This way I can just open up those follicles so when I apply my deep conditioner or conditioner, it can penetrate my hair. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Treatment Mask. Because my hair has been in a bun for the past few days and I also have chemically processed hair, my hair is super brittle at the moment and definitely needs some strength. So I'm just going to apply this product starting from the middle towards my ends and I make sure I do the same thing to both sides. I try my best to focus this product also more towards my ends. Then I take the excess product and I just apply it all to my roots. That way they can also get some hydration. Once I'm finished applying the product all throughout my hair, I'm just going to take my hair now and put it in a little bun before detangling my hair. And then I'm going to take this shower cap and I'm going to leave this deep conditioner in for about 20 minutes. I'm back and look at my hair. Super defined. Oh my gosh, please literally ignore my eyebrows. Near my face, this is like no makeup, nothing, because I'm just home. So I kept the deep conditioner in for about like 15, 20 minutes. And I didn't apply like any heat or anything. I know some people usually put like a little hot head thingy, whatever it's called. I don't. I just leave it in there like that. And it works perfectly fine. And I just rinsed out with um, cold water. And yeah, so this is my hair now. And I'm just going to style it. Okay, so the first product I'm going to start off with is the Shea Moisture Curling Hansen Smoothie. This is honestly like one of my favorites, but I barely use anything. Like, look, I've had this for about like six months now. And look, I, I barely use anything because of how thick it is because my hair is super fine. So I literally just use this much. I'm not even kidding. And then I just apply it like right here towards like my ends. That's pretty much all I do for it. Just like this, kind of just rake it through. I really don't like to use a lot of this product because like I said, it is super, super thick and it weighs my hair down. So I just use it just a little bit because I do like this product a lot. I just do that and then I do it to the side too. And for my second product, I'm going to use the Camille Rose, if you guys see her, curl maker. So this product is also really, really thick. So I do try to just use a little bit. I literally take this much. Like, that's nothing. Look. And I kind of just go like this to my hair. Just like that. And then I 
this scrunch because it is a gel so i don't want to like break it through i kind of just like to put it right on top and then i just scrunch it like so Once I'm done just like scrunching in the product, I just take little pieces that I know are usually not like super straight, but I don't know. They just lose their form like quickly, especially like here in the front. Ever since I dyed my hair, I don't know if you can tell. Look at that. It just doesn't want to curl like that. So I kind of just finger coil and then I scrunch it again. Sometimes some pieces in the back do that too. So I just do the same thing here. Now, my hair is done. This is what it looks like on the side. This is from the back. Now this is the other side. So then once I'm done putting all my product in, all I do is I just wait um, about like 10 minutes or until my hair is like about 80% dry, around there like 75% dry. And then I just diffuse my hair. So yeah. What's up guys, so now my hair is about 75 to 80% dry and I'm going to go in with my blow dryer and my little resource curls diffuser top. I'm going to leave the air on low and the heat on low and then I'm just going to blow some air on my hair without touching it. That way I can just break that cast from my gel. And I just do this all throughout my hair for a good 2-3 to three minutes. And then once I'm done with this, I will just take a small section starting from my ends and I'll normally hold this for about a good 10 to 15 seconds. This will just help me avoid any frizz while diffusing my hair. I'm not going to lie and I think anybody with curly hair can agree with this, diffusing your hair is probably the longest process ever. So now, I'm done diffusing my hair. As you can see, my hair has a lot of volume. There's like little to no frizz whatsoever. And yeah. Once I'm done diffusing, I go in with my pick. She's pretty, I know. I just go in with my pick and then I just pick up my roots. Like so. And I flip over and I kind of just do the same thing again. Just like that. So then, yeah, I just do the same thing to this side. And there you go. And then normally what I do is like, as you can see, this looks super, super ugly. So I kind of just go and I snip just like that. And that's gone because I don't know what that was, but it looked terrible. Like any little pieces I see like that, usually what I do, like right here. I just go and I snip and so that's it if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a, a thumbs up I will try to stay more consistent with my content I know I've been slacking a little bit but definitely like this video 
um comment if you have any suggestions for other videos and yeah stay tuned for more